What appealed to you about the proposal that you decided to participate in this book? This book is all about beyond fame and money, what is next? And I think that's the very important subject. Because if you look at it, most of the books, most of the magazines, especially the business magazines, only talk about wealth, who is the richest and who is the wealthiest. And I think uh, as we have seen, uh, it's much beyond money that makes people really happy. And therefore, what is it that people want to do with the money which is more important and hence this book is of value. You believe that it is an obligation for each of us to contribute to the world and make it a better place. Otherwise, we have failed as human beings. Some words on your and Piramal Group's work ethics and value systems. The purpose of the Piramal Group is doing well and doing good and making a difference, a positive difference to the world around us by serving people. I think that is a very important, that whatever we do, we have to do well in it and we also have to do good to the world. So all our actions are really towards making the world a better place by serving people. So if you are in pharmaceuticals, for instance, you serve people you make them better by improving their health, by improving the duration of their life. So this is the case in all our businesses and that's what we look for. Some words about love for your country and society, about celebrating and fostering goodness and how these issues which are beyond the bottom line are important for a corporate. I was recently uh, looking at a survey which was done at the World Economic Forum in Davos. It says that the, the richest eight people in the world, if you combine their wealth, it was equal to half of the wealth of the world's population. This difference in between the rich and the poor is just too much. Globalization has actually increase the difference between the rich and the poor. And just like communism failed earlier, if we do not correct globalization, there will be serious consequences. And hence, it's really important for us to see what we can do for the underprivileged. In a country like India, I think we are blessed to be born in this country. This is a country which has had the greatest spiritual masters of the world which have come here for thousands of years and which even today you find. This is therefore a really special and a very holy land. And I think I feel that all of us who are here have an obligation to add to this and not take away from it. Is there anything you read about the other uh, 11 people covered in the book or about the foreword by uh, Mr. Kumar Mangalam Birla that you want to make a mention of? Actually, the a book, uh, when I read the uh, lives and uh, some of the thinking of the other 11 people, I was really inspired to see what great contribution they have done, what difficulties that they have faced in their lives, the courage that they have uh, had to be successful and it's always a learning experience.